Spookies. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. These are the planets in our solar system. Mercury is closest to the sun. Venus is the hottest one. Earth is where we all live. Mars is red and has the biggest volcano. Jupiter's the largest of them all. Saturn has rings that are so tall. Uranus stands on its side. Neptune is far and blue. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. These are the planets in our solar system. Our solar system and how they are looking in real. Number eight is Neptune, and it's such look in reality. Number seven is Uranus, and it's such look in reality. Number six is Saturn, and it's such look in reality. Number five is Jupiter, and it's such look in reality. Number four is Mars, and it's such look in reality. Our moon, and it's such look in reality. Number three is Earth. And it's such look in reality. Number two is Venus. And it's such look in reality. Number one is Mercury. And it's such look in reality. Our sun. And 
its such look in reality. This is our whole solar system. Pluto in the planets. A video created by Spookus Kids. Hello Spookus Kids, it's me Pluto. Today I'm going to show you all the planets. Hello Pluto, are you a planet? That's a quick story. Let's first visit the solar system, shall we? Meet Mercury, the smallest planet. Mercury takes 88 Earth days to have a year. I have a question to raise. Well, that's not always the case that planets move into ways. First on its own axis like a dancer on a pirouette. Around the sun on a path called the orbit. I turn slowly on my axis so my days are longer. Next is Venus, named for the Roman goddess of love. While all other planets spin its axis counterclockwise. This makes the planet upside down. Planet number three is our very own. 70% of its surface is water. Mars, the fourth planet, also fondly called red. It has two moons, Deimos and Phobos. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are not just neighbors by the nearest star, but also compact balls of rocks and metals. They are planets called rock or terrestrial. Where are we off to next, Pluto? To the bigger planets, we go. The one with rings and another with a big spot. Let's correct my little astronaut. Watch out for the rocky objects floating. There are ancient debris when the planets are forming. We are in the asteroid belt, you see. Meet Jupiter. Hydrogen and helium make up its atmosphere. My neighbor and Bido the naked eye are both visible from Earth's sky. I have four sets of rings that are wispy for my pal Saturn. Guess how many? I have seven wider rings all bright and icy, first seen by Galileo Galilei. Prettiest of all planets, that's me. 82 moons keep me company. Nice to meet you both. Hey, is it getting very cold? Ah, uh, yes, because we are now near the coldest planet out here. My name is Uranus, and I am blue-green, caused by sunlight and methane. Uranus, are you okay? Why are you moving sideways? I move almost 90 degrees on my side. This is how I rotate and I'm right. We have come so far, are we approaching another star? I'm afraid not, my friend. But hey, here's our dot final planet. Here is Neptune, and it has 14 moons. I am a bit rocky, mostly blue and icy. My six rings are very hard to see. That's because I'm the farthest planet. I'm away from the sun by 30 astronomical units. Say, Pluto, are not you farther away? 39 astronomical units, they say. I hope you understand the story of our all planets. If you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel. Learn Solar Eclipse A solar eclipse happens when the moon moves between Earth and the sun. When this happens, the moon gradually blocks out the light from the sun. If the sun and moon line up perfectly in the sky, we call it a total solar eclipse. Total Solar Eclipse Total solar eclipses happen when the moon completely covers the sun, and it can only take place when the moon is near perigee, the point of the moon's orbit closest to Earth. Annular solar eclipse Annular solar eclipses take place when the moon's disk is not big enough to cover the entire disk of the sun, and the sun's outer edges remain visible to form a ring of fire in the sky. Partial Solar Eclipse Partial solar eclipses occur when the moon only partially obscures the sun's disk and casts only its penumbra on Earth. 
Thank you for watching and subscribe me.